Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Houseplant Pixie. For everyone that's new to my channel, my name is Monique. And welcome back to my existing subscribers and thanks so much for tuning back in. Hello, come here. <laughs> she just woke up. I had to look where I am. Alright, today's episode, I'll give you a bit of an update on the cuttings I took. I probably shouldn't have taken them just before winter so I took them three months ago and that was one of my last videos and I'm just gonna go over with you guys and yeah we're gonna have a look what they're up to there's one I really wanna pot up because that one's got big roots and it's been amazing so let's start with the first lot so I got them in all different containers it was just what I had at the time so I took lots of Syngonium cuttings, but we're also going to do, um, I haven't looked at this as yet, so we're cleaning out the dead leaves. Um, there might be some cuttings that did not make it, I'm just throwing it on the floor and I'm just going to grab the whole lot and there is not much happening. Um, put a towel here. There's only one road on one of the cuttings. All the others, there's not much happening. So I'm just gonna freshen up the water and put them back. I've noticed some of these cuttings, or I think it's just one. Have a look at this guys, uh, mealy bugs, yep, we got mealy bugs, this white little, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray the whole lot, underside of the leaves, and top, and then I'm just going to use a cloth to wipe that entire leaf. If that leaf would have more mealy bugs on it, I would get rid of it. It's not worth the hassle. Um, that is just my opinion. If you want to save it, you go right for it. But I just think we have a lot of cuttings, so yeah, it's not necessary to risk the others. Make sure that underside you wipe that as well and yeah I just used um, eco pest oil it basically is for mealybugs leaf miner aphids white fly scale and spider mites I did have a bit of problems with spider mites in my plant room and it's not very tidy as you can see so please don't judge my <laughs> Variegated Monstera, one of a couple, doesn't look too flesh either, but I'm slowly working my way around the project. Alright, now let's have a look what's going on in here. These look pretty good. <clears throat> oh, this one here, amazing. That is. That is probably soon ready to be potted up. I'm fairly confident. And it's also got a new shoot coming out. But for now, I'm just gonna pop it back in here. When you fill up your water or change your water, you have to make sure that you use filtered water. Well, we're in Australia and the water here is terrible. It's got lots of toxins and claw and stuff in it, so I wouldn't recommend. Oh, this is interesting. That must have snapped off somewhere. That is basically just a leaf. Um, I guess we'll find the cutting where that leaf snapped off. There is no, that is leaf axle and there is no node on it. So I got a little rubbish pile here that goes on that. Yeah. That one here has got another bit of growth 
So, and they're nice and firm. You can touch them. They're not slimy. Nice and firm. Once they're once the lace breaks off or it's soft and there's no growth on it. Oh, there's actually a little wood on it as well. Nice. <coughs> Perfect. Sorry, I'll, <coughs> I'm still struggling with my cold. That one here. Nothing yet. Nothing. Nothing yet. And we've got a couple of roots on this one and a new shoot. And then again, everything looks good. Uh, yep, yeah. and here, right in the bottom, floating. Not sure if you can see that. Oh, the wool cloth is terrible, bro. <laughs> yeah, it definitely needs changing. We're back with um, fresh water. I also cleaned up the glass vessel a bit whatever you want to call it um, what I don't like using for the cuttings is anything yeah this is the best example this one here plastic <coughs> just need that small cutting remember that leaf this one here so that has that came off here this one here this thick bit that is an old and the leaf basically come off this part it's not a problem it's still alive because we have a tiny root and <clears throat> we got a little shoot there it's not focusing so it's gonna go back into the bottom of the glass vessel and then here's another one, just the same. This one here, that's my variegated anthurium. And it was that top heavy, <clears throat> when I tried to move it, it actually snapped right off, it snapped right off the base. And I was like, nah. <laughs> Not a problem, because I show you now what the base So, I'm not sure if you can see this bit here. That's where the whole lot snapped off. And look, look how beautiful. And I haven't cleaned this plant up. That's just what you get sometimes. So you either cut the leaf off or you just cut the brown bit off. And I think it recovered pretty well. So I'm stoked with it. You just got to remember that when you have a cutting like that, that you are not overwatering because obviously the plant has no leaves, so it won't actually use as much energy. It, use, it uses a lot less water. So I usually would water this like with the leaves now, once a week, when it had no leaves, once a month. It's a huge difference. Yeah. Right, this is going to be messy. It's got lots of nice roots. There's lots of different stuff in here. Um, and yeah, we have some dead ones. Right, now I'm just going to try and... So I'm not sure what that was. That's gone. I'm not sure what that was. That's gone. So... There's actually, you know, the risk that some things don't work out, which is completely fine. You just gotta see, and I'm just gently untangling everything here. Because we got a that was my pink princess. <laughs> super pink um, got roots um, I think I waited a little bit longer before I planted and then I would definitely I will not put this back together <coughs> it's 
see what's happening here. No. This is like I'm not prepared. This is what it's what it can be like. So I did not check it before or clean it up. We do it together. <laughs> and it's like all one bowl. This is thick roots. That's all anthurium. All the finer roots is um subpastasum. <clears throat> and this guy this is like a really long short i chopped off and you see that over here i chopped it up there and there's one leaf out and another one on the way which is fantastic so don't be afraid to go for the chop or the cut right this might take a while Oh, I don't think I'm going to be doing that again, but it's all a learning syngonium. I'll put that in with the other ones. Uh, then we have a, a chunk of Monstera Dubia. I wouldn't even know. Oh, yep. There's no wood as of yet. It's got a small one there. But I'd say that we'll go back in the and if you gently just work your finger through it. And don't force it too much, but you know, that's how you untangle them. And then eventually you can wiggle, wiggle it out, I hope. It's like really going into Oh, well, okay, I'm just going to go for it. Wiggle, wiggle. And not bad. That's good. It's not, I would... Wait a bit more for more roots to establish. This is probably on the verge of being. So I'm just gonna put this down here and let's just clean it up. So I'm just gonna take this off. It's from the leaves. I probably could cut this one. It's not doing much um, but there's heaps of new growth there's one there and there's a tiny growth developing right there <clears throat> anyway again excuse the water I'm just gonna pop these ones back These guys are all grown up, so it's not so variegated anymore. And there is a bit of, can you guys see that? It's a bit of variegation still on it. It's still beautiful. I love, I love how how this fans out, and this is this is so easy easy care. It's amazing. So I'll untangle the roots, and. I'm just going to check if there's any soft bits, take out any, and there's not. So here's the pot, same game as for everything, I'll have a decorative pot, no holes, no holes. Simply because I use the nursery pot, the water drains into the pot underneath. I don't have time to carry every single plant over to the sink and let it drain out I'm not gonna finish <laughs> it takes a while as it is I wouldn't go any bigger because they still gonna develop I'm just gonna keep an eye on it that once I transplant it I probably wait three months and see if it gets root bound what I do love is the clear pots. I didn't find a clear pot. I'm just gonna 
plant it in that, see how it goes, and yeah, what are indications that your plant is root bound and you cannot see it through the pot? Could be the growth is not developing as much. Paper towel in the bottom of the pot so the soil doesn't fall through the holes and make a mess in this planter. I use my self-made potting mix. It's just a mix of perlite, horticulture, charcoal, um, orchard mix, wood barks and premium potting mix. There it is, all potted up. Look at this stunner. Coming back to choosing their pot size, you might think, okay, yeah, well, whatever, the plant will grow into it, but trust me, I tried that, I learned it the hard way. I <laughs> let me know in the comments below if you actually repotted a plant and you knew, oh, this pot is like actually way too big, but you went for it anyway. <laughs> And then you learn from it. Let me know in the comments if that happens to you. It happens to me a couple of times and I almost did it again the other week, but I did not. I chose this smaller pot and the plant will be fine. Trust me, this will be amazing. Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. And I'll see you next time. Until then, stay plenty. Bye.